Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show you how you can get the SAP profile SAP all really easily if you just have one authorization object. So enjoy this video and let's get started. As mentioned here I am in the user maintenance in the transaction code SU01 and right now I have the SAP profile SAP all. And I can show you that if you have just one authorization object, you can get the SAP profile, SAP all really easily. You can add it to your user on your own. So here we can see on roles that are this user currently have besides the SAP profile, SAP all, just this role as develop change. If we have a look at this here in authorizations, I can display this. Then we can see that right now I have just one uh, yeah let, authorization object. It's the object S underscore develop and the object type debug with the activities change and display. So 02 and 03. And you just need this authorization on your SAP user to add the SAP profile SAP all on your own and most likely the activity 02 is the critical authorization based on the authorization object as developed because as we might see there you have the ability to add SAP all on your own and a really important disclaimer on this point um, I would like to show you to make you aware of this risk in the SAP system. So in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA, please, if you see that there is this risk on your SAP system, you can report this. And yeah, I would like to show you why this is critical. So get one step back or a couple of steps back and in profile. And there I have the profile SAP underscore all. And right now I will remove it and then I will save it. So I have changed this user. And right now here, for example, if I'm going to the start menu, and then, for example, I am trying to open up the transaction code SU01 once again. And right now here, we can see that I get an error message. You are not authorized to use transaction SU01. Okay, what can we do? So we can add the SAP profile SAP underscore all on our own. And to do this, first of all, we have to go into the system debugging so we can use the shortcut slash hs in the command field uh, we need to do this to set breakpoints in the debugger so slash h won't work in this case so you have to use slash hs so then the debugging is switched on and right now we want to call the transaction code su01 once again and right now the debugger has started. And what we have to do is we have to set breakpoints on specific statements for authorization checks. And first of all, here with this button, create breakpoint in command method or with the F9 key, you can set breakpoints on specific statements. And the first one we have to add is the authority check statement. So authority minus check and add function. There we also have to add one breakpoint at auth underscore check underscore T code. And with the enter key, or with this continue button there you can uh, you can confirm your inputs and here all the breakpoints all the needed breakpoints have been set and now you can just continue in the debugger or with uh, with the F8 key or with this continue button and there right now uh, we are now in the function module auth underscore check underscore T code at this statement in this in this function module and here right now we don't want to do all the the checks all the authorization checks we just simply would like to go to the end or so here right now or you can also click on this line and then you 
right click with your mouse and then you choose go to statement. So then you jump over all these authorization checks to this statement and then once again you can continue within the debugger with this button or with the F8 key and right now we are in the transaction SU01. This is really really great and what we would like to do is as mentioned we would like to add the profile SAP underscore all. So here we uh, click on this change button or you could also use the key combination shift and F6 uh, before of course you have to enter your SAP user to whom you want to add the profile. So there once again all the breakpoints uh, have been set and we stop at the authorization check. And what is really important because here some other authorizations based on some internal tables have been made so um, the, the authorization checked statements uh, are after these kind of checks so you have to keep in mind to have the system variable c sub rc to zero so you enter this variable in this field and you click on this change field content button and you change it to zero you hit the enter key then you have changed it and once again we would like to go over all these kind of checks so we're scrolling down to the first line or to the end of this method in this case over here so once again right click go to statement this is okay and then continue we are in the edit mode of the user maintenance and then we would like to add the sap all on the profiles tab so we click on here and once again scrolling down to the end of this method right click go to statement keep in mind that you have to change this value to zero and then you can continue and you have to do exactly the same over here so scrolling to the end or almost to the end right click go to statement and then change it to zero and then you can continue so do exactly the same over here right click then go to statement and then change it once again to zero and then we can continue so here we can do exactly the same here you have a little bit uh, to be careful so here we would like to also execute this so this is also totally fine so here you can just jump over this and then you can continue and now you are in the profiles tab and now what we want to do is you enter sap underscore all hit the enter key and then once again we would like to jump over all the authorization checks so right click go to statement change it to zero hit enter and then continue and now we have added sap all we can save it and now the user user test has changed and so for example if we would like to open up once again the SU01 it has worked if you would like for example open up the data browser this also works jump once again to the user maintenance this works edit so you have SAP all quite easily and really keep in mind that you have to be really careful with the setting report this if, if you see that you have received or that you got the authorization object as underscore develop with the activity 02 this is what critical authorizations uh, yeah you have to be aware of thank you very much for watching if you have any questions put them in the comment section like this video and do not miss to subscribe to this great youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you very much and see you in the next video